Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm about to check out my second episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Having just watched the entire series run of the original season on Netflix, it was really cool to see a few subtle differences. Seeing how it changed in regards to story or opened up differently in this one, the animation is incredible. And having Vic back as the voice of Edward is awesome as well like you kind of get that carryover so anyway let's just dive into this next episode this one is called the first day so let's just dive in and check it out three two one go alchemy yes equivalent exchange yeah An arm and a leg. So we got a new version of the credits with a cool new song. Full Metal Alchemist. So it's not actually called Brotherhood in the title. No? I can't. Read the subtitle still. That's fine. I'm feeling it. The song's really cool. All the bad guys, all the good guys. Still, it's been a while since I've watched the the first season, so I've got to regain my memory of all the names that like, come to me. But after I watched that that last episode, I haven't revisited Full Metal for a while. So as Zinne, they'll come to me. Of course, we've got Edward and Al. Let's go. Love the new opening. It's very cool. Well, it's not really new anymore, is it? It's new to me. Cool. Mm-hmm. Memories. The first day. So on the quest for that damn Philosopher's Stone. Ten years earlier. That's mommy. I'm doing magic, mommy. Wow. Self-taught. That looks similar in this one. Got the same eyes. And same hair color. Yeah, she dies. Father's missing and the mother's dead. Yeah, bit of a dick move. Trisha Elric. 1904.
Winry. Oh, don't be mean. Eddie. Pick on Winry. Yeah, don't be a dick. <laughs> Auto mail. Drink your milk. I just said that. <laughs> Subatomic shrimp. I like the vo the voice works good in this man. I, I hear the dubs being amazing in this series. <laughs> yeah. There's always a first time for something. Yeah, she is. I love the way this is forming it, like showing us different characters at different times, different flashbacks. Wow. It's an amazing shot. I forgot the milk. Soul data. Yeah, this is it, all right. Yeah. Equivalent of exchange. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh shit. Oh wow. On the other side. Oh shit. Creepy. Shit. I love the way this one's doing it. Oh, there goes your leg. Bye bye, bye arm.
Mm-hmm. Leg for a leg. God, is that gluttony? Oh, wow, not creepy, man. Oh, she's come back all wrong. Oh, shit. Al's gone. That was good. That was very tense. I like that. Roy Mustang. Another flashback. Oh. Oh, come in. There they are. It was an accident. Wind ring. Oh. 
Okay. This is very good. Ah, oh, she's shaking hands now. Three years. <laughs> and they train. Fight and they fight and they fight. Yeah, cool. Oh. <laughs> Get ahead. <laughs> I love that little animation that they do. The fewer um, no, because he's awesome. Nice. Out of the ground. It's a kick. 
security. Oh, shit. <laughs> he chopped it in half. He's super fast. Yes. On a journey. Full metal. Cool. Yeah, you do. <laughs> nice and intimidating. Man, I'm blown away by this. Mm. Yeah, man, this is so good. So good. And yeah, I've elected to watch the dub. I don't usually do dub. I like sub more, but I've heard such good things about the dub of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I decided this is how I want to watch it. And it's, um, it's good. Like, watching anime with subtitles can be challenging in regards to the fact that you need to read it all the time and you can miss certain points of action. But you can talk over the top of it and it's not going to interfere too much. Where with the, the dub version, if I am talking over the top of English, then that can get mixed up as well with um you guys viewing it. But hey, it's a trade-off. I don't mind because so far I've been blown away by how good the vocal work is. And it's good to have Vic back. A little bit of adjustment, getting used to voices coming from different actors from that first season that I watched. Bit of adjustment. But the story is so different from that first season. I haven't read the manga yet. I'm going to dive into it once I've finished it. And I want to let the show wash over me. Spoiler free. So it's really interesting seeing how, how different it is. And the music. The music is good. Episode number two, done. So, um, obviously we've been watching Brotherhood for a couple of weeks now. I'm recording this way in advance, guys. I'm, I'm, I've done this ages ago. But I did a bit of a poll on my Patreon and on YouTube and on Twitter just to decide what anime I should dive into and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood was pretty much top of the pops. This and, and Death Note. Um, I was kind of curious about checking out The Promised Neverland as well and Tokyo Ghoul Season 1. So um, a lot of the votes fell for Brotherhood, obviously. That's why we're watching it now. But I'm very super keen to check out Death Note as well. And the Promised Neverland's only like 12 episodes, so, so that's one I could probably knock out fairly quick. So I might get that done one day soon too. But my objective for 2020 is to cut back on my anime reactions. I came pretty close to burnout last year. I felt pretty confident that I could do it. But watching so many anime at once, it started to become a bit of a chore. And with Fate Stay Night and Demon Slayer and Jojo and Attack on Titan and Villain Sagra and One Punch Man, it was just like... Yeah, it was getting hard. I could, I'm going to get like a couple of days off a week and I found myself just doing nothing but recording and editing. So you just need that, that downtime. You need to step away and just, you know, chill, right? And also the fact when you'd watch a show and then not come back to it for a few weeks, you might forget some of the plot and, you know, get a little bit lost when you're carrying on in what is coming to you week to week. 
and I've not done a recording for about two or two months or so. So getting that number of animes up to you guys might be a little bit more condensed now, but I'm hoping to make the amazing quality that that I like doing. I, I like reacting to these shows and enjoying them as fun. So you might see a bit of a reduction in content, but knowing me, I still have something up every day. But yeah, just taking that pressure off myself so I can enjoy these shows wholeheartedly. And so far, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood has definitely won me over. It is is thoroughly engaging. It's so cool. And um, like I said, I've got all the, the mangas coming in, the Full Metal Edition, and they just look stunning. They really do. But anyway, I'm going to take a sip out of my DB mug again. Just giving that another shameless plug. Look at that. It's my logo on a mug. That is so cool. Um... I'm going to drink everything out of this from now on. My coffee, my tea, my beer, my hot chocolate, and my waters. Yummo. So you can get one of these on my Patreon on the $25 tier. You've got to be part of that for three months, and then you get sent a free mug. And there's also the opportunity for a $30 tier, and you get the free T-shirt with my DB logo on there. Even if nobody joins that level of Patreon, I'm so happy that I got the mug. I got the T-shirt coming as well, so hey... At least one person got one, and I'm stoked. But anyway, I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.